I am uh, Luke Jacobson. I'm the Vice President and Engineer at Moment Skis. And yeah, I got into this. I uh, grew up about 100 miles away from Reno in Auburn. And so it's just on the foothills. Grew up skiing Tahoe, ski racing, got into freestyle, free ride skiing. And it's just always been a huge part of my life. Went to school for mechanical engineering. Wasn't interested in anything. I saw it like a job or career fair there. And I was like, well, guess I'm not gonna be a, a pro skier. So uh, I figured out the next best thing would be be making skis and be part of the industry that I was incredibly passionate about. So linked up with Casey Hawkinson, founder of Moment, and just never left one day, you know, and just ended up here and here we are 10 years later. Hi, my name's Casey Hawkinson and I'm the founder of Moment Skis. So I've been skiing since two in the Tahoe area. Uh, it's been my passion since then and that's what's that's what initially drove me to making skis. Just back in 2002, I had the chance to go into Snowboard Factory and build my first pair. And you know, there was no intention to create a business or whatever. It was just, it was just a cool opportunity. But then after building my first pair, you know, I was kind of hooked and started building more and more for friends and family. And you know, as the time went by, I just found just finally realized that hey, maybe we can make this a business. My name's Larry. I, uh, I'm the head of the wood shop part here at Moment and all the prep work and pretty much getting all the base materials ready for all the skis. So uh, I just like we're here. It's just like it's not like coming to work. It's like going and doing projects with my buddies, you know. It's and I get paid for it. It's an awesome place to work. I love it here. So we start out with our raw materials here. This is. American sourced aspen and pine, and we have some ash up there. And Nick here is gluing them all together into big blocks. These are some of the finished ones right here. And those get cut out into blanks like this. So this will be one pair of skis the whole way through the process. So here's your pine stringers, the rest of this is aspen. All gets cut out on this resaw right here. Then it gets planed and formed in this planer. And this is a reverse planer mold is what our high tech name is for it. But basically this gives the ski its side profile. If you look at the side of the ski, you know, the thinness and the tips, the thickness, the flex, all that. So once those are planed out, they go from that blank I just showed you to this. So it's got the full profile on it and it's down to, you know, a hundredth of a millimeter in spec. Try to keep it pretty tight. Um, with all our tolerances. And then it goes to what? On the CNC machine here, and it gets cut out in about two minutes on this new CNC. And uh, here's the, the core of the ski, the pair of skis. And this is the, pretty much the heart of the ski and yeah. So I take them over here and I sand them with belt sander, get them nice and smooth so there's no bumps or anything on it. Get all the, the fluff off so you can put sidewall on it and get it prepped for layup. Very early in um, starting to make skis, we had a CNC. It was just a hobby home built one. And you know, it worked great for low volume and you know, it wasn't very precise, but it was good for prototype and stuff. And then recently we just upgraded to a Laguna CNC. And just that industrial grade CNC has definitely improved on our precision and 100% on our speed of production. Part of being our own manufacturer and doing everything in house is we pride ourselves in rapid prototyping and trying out new designs and things where we don't have to go through a huge corporation and say, oh, will this sell? Like, you know, we're skiers, so we like to make something. We're like, will this work? You know, just maybe if it's for one small skiing application, not just to sell to a market. So we can really go in there and test things quickly. So with the new CNC having, the, you know, the tighter tol tolerances, how it's faster, um, more efficient, it's just better in every way than our old CNC. Just, it was like a little small thing, you know, with the new spindle and, and the big vacuum table, it just kicks butt and it really helps us, you know, even make our rapid prototyping even more rapid, so. Decided to go with Laguna because we originally bought a Laguna bandsaw 
and it worked out really well for us. Uh, you know, we were doing the research all over. Um, there are a lot of CNCs out there, and you know, Laguna. It, when you make an investment that's so much money, it's not like you're test driving a car. You typically can't go test drive a CNC. You kind of have to see what other people are using and whatnot. So I took a look at the, C the Laguna CNC and saw all the videos and saw all the added features. They were really clear about how it worked. Um, and you know, it was just really straightforward on the website. And I just, I was like, you know, this is exactly what we're looking to do. I called them up. I talked about, you know, different options between the Smart Shop 1 and 2, if I needed a tool change or not. And, just had a really good staff and everybody was there just pointed me in the right direction and uh, you know since it's been here it's just it's worked out great. It's so impressive how they brought it here on the big truck and, and the guy who moved it in he was awesome and, and set it up perfect for us. Uh, right when we got it there were there was like one little part for the lubrication system that was broken that we found but you know we just called up Laguna and they helped us through that and, and fixed it right away. And you know, it's massive. It's being shipped and moved all around. It's, it's, a, it's a big piece of equipment, so that's bound to happen. But since they fixed it right away, you know, we haven't had an issue with it since. Since you've got your new smart shop back here, how do you like this machine? I love it. I love it. It's super fast. It's super maintenance free. Like I only, I clean the air filter twice a week. I, I really don't have to worry about it. It doesn't, it doesn't deviate from anything. You know, it's really, it's really reliable. I haven't had any problems with it in the six months or so we've been using it. Well, I mean, there really isn't a book on how to make skis. Uh, definitely, like this product video, a lot of other companies have product videos, so I would sit on YouTube and, and pause videos every two seconds, see what's going on in the background. I did go to school for mechanical engineering. I grew up with an awesome dad who was always with me in the garage and you know, changing engines on cars and, and different things like that and airplanes and all that stuff. So a lot of it is, you know, uh, figuring out how to make these things happen from garage science or, or from taking applications that we'll look at at another industri industry and adapting them to what we're looking to do here uh, as far as dye sublimation goes. You know, it was a big graphics world thing, but to figure out how to do that um, on a piece of plastic that's eight feet long, it's definitely possible, but we, we spent a lot of money figuring out how to do that. But just a lot of uh, a lot of testing. Now we're gonna lay up a pair of skis. So this is where all the materials that we produce in the prep area come together uh, in our wet layup process. So we mix up our epoxy resin system, a uh, bunch of cores here, and uh, yeah, just get them stacked up ready for Armando. He's gonna probably pump out 15 pairs today himself. So.
I'm Armando and I make moments keys. You know, you never know what's going to happen in the snow season with, with weather and whatnot, but pretty much with Moment, we're always trying to, to make things better. And we're not trying to make gimmicks. We're, we're really testing out new elements in ski design and seeing how far we can push it if it's really going to help the athlete. It's really going to you know, better the experience. So anytime we can get a new machine that can make our process better or more efficient, we'll do that if we you know, can afford it. And we're always looking at new materials and, and testing new options. So you know, it's, just, it's really embracing skiing and trying to push it as far as we can. One defining quality of Moment, the brand, is we're very approachable for our customers. And that kind of shows in our ski designs and just our perspective of the industry. Like we, you know, anyone could call us and talk to me or Luke or anyone in the office and they're talking with people designing, making, making the skis and, you know, their input. Um, means a lot and it has filtered down into the design of the skis so in that aspect you know really proud of keeping that even though as we're growing and growing we still have that open to our customers you know skiing's fun and you know keeping that keeping that true and 